What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell from the title of this video, we have a lot to talk about. So let's get into it. Now first, I just want to say I am starting to feel better. Thank you guys so much for reaching out and for sending me messages. I literally had hundreds of people reach out to me and, you know, just hope that I was getting better. And it was very, very kind of you. Um, I am still recovering. So, you know, it's kind of hard to take like deep breaths a little bit. Um, it's not bad. It was much worse a couple of days ago or, or, you know, four or five days ago, um, but it's much better. So um, this is mostly going to be just me talking. I don't plan on doing a lot of cuts. Um, I have a lot to talk about that's gone on in the past couple months. Um, that's kind of been going on in the background that nobody has really known about, um, as well as some things that have taken place in the past two weeks. And I haven't posted any videos because uh, I just had a lot on my plate and then I got sick. And so a lot, a lot to discuss today. Um, I don't think that this will run too long. I'm going to try to keep it under 30 minutes, um, but there's a lot to discuss. Um, and so I don't really know where to start. I'm just going to start. So I've been working remote for about a year and a half. And, you know, we got the word that we were going to be going back into the office at the end of the year in September. So about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, I kind of started talking to some of my friends, you know, are you guys going back into the office? What do you think about that? And somebody I used to work with said, you know, this is a really good time to start looking for another job. If you are wanting to do that, he uh, sent me some jobs where he currently works um, and asked me if I wanted to come work for him. And, um, you know, I applied just kind of to see if that was something I was interested in. Uh, it was in the financial banking and, and just wasn't for me. They didn't want me because I don't have that background. And so it wasn't a big deal, but it got me really got me thinking, to be honest. So I kind of just started putting my feelers out there, started reaching out to some of my contacts um, and reaching out to a few recruiters that I knew. And I was getting a ton, a ton of um, feedback. There were a lot of jobs available, um, a lot of senior level jobs that I was looking at that I was genuinely interested in. And so, um, you know, I really was targeting specific companies, though. I, I was I was not kind of applying everywhere. Um, I was being extremely selective because, again, I, I love my job now um, and I, I didn't really need to leave or see myself leaving. But if something really good came up that I couldn't pass up, you know, that would be kind of my sign that this was uh, the way I wanted to go. So I started, I started putting my feelers out there. Um, one company in particular, um, I may put this in the title or not, I'm not sure, was PwC. Um, if you don't know who PwC is, um, PricewaterhouseCoopers is a very large um, consulting company and they're one of the best. And, uh, you know, I, I know people who work there. I, I during this process was chatting with a few people who who do currently work there. And, you know, I, I was being um, I was being interviewed for a senior data analyst in pharmaceuticals. And, you know, they were offering really good comps. They, you know, the, the salary was going to be probably low 100s. Um, I think I'll probably go much more in depth into that whole process, the interview process, what questions I was asked, um, everything in a separate video. Um, but that's that's what I've been going through. Um, it's been a long process because they just take their time. It's, a, it's like months in the making. Um, but I've got to the final, uh, the final piece and... Um, so I, you know, I have lots to discuss after this, but you know, I'll focus on this for now. Um, the, you know, they basically said, Hey, you know, it, we found that you have this YouTube channel, you know, could you tell us more about this? Um, you know, what, what does it entail? And I was like, well, you know, it's a, it's a YouTube channel. It, um, is mostly about data analytics, teaching people and talking about how to become a data analyst. I was like, that's what it is. And my recruiter at the time was like, interesting. Okay. This might you know, we're not sure how we feel about that. That might be a conflict of interest. She's like, is that something that you'd be willing to give up? And I said, no. I was like, there is no way I will be giving that up. I was like, you know, if that's a conflict, I was like, I'm out. I don't, I didn't say this, but I was like, I don't need this job. I was like, it'd be really great, but I have a really good job already. I, I'm I'm set. I don't need this. Um, so I just straight up, I was like, no, absolutely not. Not something I'm willing to give up. She was like, oh, okay, okay. Um, and so, you know, they end, they ended up giving me an offer um, and I turned them down. I had already found or accepted a job that I wanted. 
Um, and that's what I'm going to get to in a little bit. Um, I'm sure that's what I'm going to title this. I, you know, I, I'm kind of in a fog right now, but I, I'm going to title this something um, about me not being a data analyst anymore. And that's kind of what we, I'm sure you guys came here to watch and find out. Um, so I found this job internally uh, at the company that I currently work for. It was for um, a position that I felt was a little bit outside my reach, but something I think I absolutely could do well and that I was kind of striving for in the next year or two in my career anyways. Um, and so I just applied, right? I, I feel like I had a lot of the qualifications that they were looking for anyways, but I just didn't have the experience level that they were probably looking for. Um, but I just applied. The um, the title of this video, and I'm gonna keep going back to that. The title of this video, I'm not a data analyst anymore. And it's because I'm not. I, I accepted an internal position um, as a manager. Um, so I'm gonna be an analytics manager uh, in, in two weeks. My official title is going to be manager of operational analytics and intelligence. It's on the IT side instead of um, the, I guess, healthcare side that I have been working on. So different data, a um, lot of things that I need to learn, a totally different skill set that I'll be utilizing. Um, but something that was really, really interesting uh, that came out of this whole process, um, and I did not see this coming, was you know, I was going through this process of interviewing and they really liked me and I really liked the position. I felt like it was a really good fit. Um, I was surprised that they even gave me an interview. Um, but when I had that first interview, I was like, man, this is a really good fit. I, I you know, I, let me pursue this. When they finally offered me the position, I go back to my boss and I said, hey, listen, you know, they offered me this job. It's too good of an opportunity. I can't turn it down. You know, I was like, I'm going to be accepting this position. I'm going to start in about Two weeks um but you know my my new boss is going to be reaching out to you to kind of set that up coordinate that so that we have you know a few weeks to do some knowledge transfers so that i can hand off all my projects everything that i know so that you guys are set and ready to go when i leave um and my boss you know is like okay well you know let me let me run that up the ladder see what you know see what happens so you know my boss calls me back within like an hour or two and is like hey i got in contact with my boss we don't want to let you go. You know, what can we do to make you stay? Um, and, you know, is she, are you open to hearing offers? And, you know, I've, I've worked with her for a few years now. I, you know, I absolutely owe her that. Uh, been a fantastic boss, been just a really good work environment and culture. So I can't, I, I of course, I'm not going to say no. You know, if they come up even back with something even better, um, that'd be fantastic. Now, in general, when I hear stories like exactly what I'm going through, I almost always say, don't accept the offer, right? You, you don't accept what they come back to because if they valued you already, they would have already offered you that position, right? That just makes sense. Um, but I feel like I was in a bit of a different position because, you know, I, I'm, I'm loyal. I'm a very loyal person. I don't want to jump ship if I don't have to. And so if something really genuinely came along that I was really excited for, you know, I may have been willing um, to, to, to stay. Um, and so, you know, they come back to me, um, a couple of days later, trying to match the compensation, trying to match, um, the bonus and, and the, the title. Um, and they offer me basically a product owner position it, 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 in, in, for our department, for our group that is management position, you know, you'll have people underneath you, analysts or whoever you need in order to get your job done. So it would be management. Um, you know, but I had already for the past five days thought, you know, I'm, I'm going. And then I get offered this and I got to be honest, you know, I was just crazy excited about this new position. I, you know, I think that there's going to be a team of four underneath, uh, or, or that I'll be working with. I don't want to say underneath cause you know, I, I don't, that's not, <laughs> that's not how I view a team, you know, people that I'll be leading, um, on this team. And so, you know, I'd already in my head gotten really excited about this. Um, and, you know, when they offered it to me, it just wasn't what I was hoping for. Um, and that's not to say like I don't appreciate it or anything because I really do. Like I felt, I felt torn because I'm super loyal. I'm a very loyal person. But at the same time, this opportunity was just too good to pass up. Um, and so, 
you know, I really did think about it. I really did consider it. And I eventually had to tell them, no, you know, I, I am going to be taking the other position. And I'll, from anybody out there who gets in that in that spot, um, I do normally almost always recommend taking the other position, right? I think that that sound advice of well, if they had wanted to do that, they would have done it sooner is pretty sound advice. Although I do believe that they saw my potential and I had talked to them about wanting to be management, wanting to promote and have people underneath me. Again, not, maybe not underneath me, just, just people that I was leading. Um, I think they really did want to make that happen. And they said they had been talking about that even before I told them. And I believe them. Um, it was just, you know, I had things had gone into place that couldn't really be undone at that point. So, uh, you know, I've accepted this position. I start in, um, I guess, let me see, let me see the day that I'm recording. Um, when I post this, it will be next Monday on the 16th, August 16th is when I start. Um, and, you know, I am no longer going to be a data analyst, right? <laughs> and it feels really weird. I didn't see it happening this quick. This was definitely my trajectory that I wanted to go, though. Um, I wanted to get into management. I love, I, I feel like I work really well with people. I like to lead. I feel like I've had a lot of good leaders in the past that have really helped me in my career. And I've always wanted to do that. So, you know, my mindset going in is just to be the best leader that I can be um, and the best person to manage and help people, you know, do their work as efficiently as possible. I feel like, you know, I have done that. I've had people to help me do that. And I feel like I'm in a really good place to make that happen. So I am extremely, extremely excited. I may not seem like it on camera right now because I feel um, I'm like 70% right now. I, I don't feel I'm not 100%. Otherwise, I'd be like super excited about this. Um, so, you know, it's a big change. It's a big change. It's a different team. It's a different department. I'm on the fourth floor now instead of the second floor of my building. Um, you know, I it's a different, it's a new data. It's completely different data. It's a new database system that I've never used that we're going to be working with. Um, I'm going to go a lot more in depth into what I actually do, what, what I'm going to be doing in the next three, six, nine months, a year, year and a half. Um, I'm going to make another video for the PwC stuff. Uh, I, I have lots of videos that have come out for the past couple months. I just, they've been brewing, but they haven't come to fruition and now they're finally here. Um, and so, you know, there's there's a lot of content to unpack here um, in terms of interviewing, um, going into management and what that's going to look like. Um, I will be doing lots of videos on this stuff. So this, if this stuff interests you, if, if getting into management is where you want to go eventually, uh, I will be doing more content on that um, as I, you know, dive into that world. Um, of course, I'm going to share that with you guys. I, I want to give you a career path to be able to aspire to. I want to give you insights into that career path so that if that's what you want to do, you can start prepping for it and, and knowing how to get there. Um, and so that's all I have for today. Um, again, I'm trying to keep it short. There was just a lot. Um, I Everything I told you is really high level. I didn't go into salary. I didn't go into um, bonuses or total compensation or um, you know, the questions that I was getting asked in these interviews, how I answered them, all of those things I'm going to make separate videos for that I can go more in depth. This one is more of, hey, I promised you I was going to make a video. I'm still exhausted. I don't have the bandwidth or, or brain power right now to make a really high quality video. Um, but I wanted to kind of update you where I'm at. There are some other big things um, going on in the background in my life as well that I will be updating you probably within the next month. Um, just some really big stuff that uh, I'm really excited to share with you guys. Um, mostly personal, some career. Um, and so I, I just appreciate all of you guys. I mean, when I told you guys I was sick and not feeling great, I mean, I just felt um, an immense amount of support and that meant so much to me. You know, I, I have my support system here with my family, um, but you guys are like, you guys are a community um, to me, and I know so many of you guys really well. Um, and so you guys, it really, really, really meant a lot. And I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to catch my breath again. Um, I have no idea what I had. I feel like it was COVID 2.0. I felt like absolute garbage for probably five days straight, six days straight. Um, and everything on, the, on, the, on my test came back negative. I mean, every single thing. So 
Um, maybe some new variant. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> but all that to say is I appreciate you guys. I will be back and running next week. Like the content's going to start coming back. I promise. Um, and, and I will try my best not to let it slide. Um, my health is on the up and up. That's what matters. So you guys are fantastic. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your time. Um, I'm not going to drag this out any longer. Um, continue to to check in on me about my health. I hope I continue to get better. Um, that's all I got. So I hope this was interesting. Lots of lots of lots of updates. Um, and I don't know what else to say. Um, more stuff to come, I promise. Thank you guys. Have a good one. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.